I won't. This is the seventh time you have come here. Are you a child? I warned you. Use protection. You won't. Seven abortions in a lifetime? Oh, please. Anything you want. you don't want. I don't need your money. I say I won't. Doctor, please. You told me before now, eh? This one is barely two months. I'm sorry, I can't. Ah, doctor, please now. go now? Wait, wait, before we go, there's something I really need to talk to you about. Okay, what is it? Um, I would want you to lend me some money. Okay. How much are we talking about here? It's just small money, very small. Two million naira. Stella! Like they please now. You know I need to clear my goods from the wharf. You know how these custom officers are now. Please, I'll be indebted to you for life if you do this to me. Please. Stella. Stella. Yes. You are very sure that if I give you this money, you're going to return it. Very sure for my heart. <laughs> you very, are, very sure. Stella. You are certain you will return the money. Like, I'm very, you have to believe me. I'm your friend now. Trust me. Eh? I'm, I'm your friend. I'll even put interest. Seriously. Hmm? Please. Okay, okay, fine. Um, on our way out to branch at the bank or something, so I can write you a check or something. Ah, thank you so much. Aww. Mm, just make sure you return my money. I will, with interest. Thank you. Can we go now? Yes, we can. Okay. <laughs> my darling. <laughs> Don't darling me, please. Don't darling me. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My darling, how are you? Hi, oh. I missed you. I missed you too, dear. Do you know something? What? I want to be a big woman like you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yes. But let me tell you something. What? I'm not a big woman. I am a smart woman. They're two different things. Okay, then. Since you're a smart woman, I was going to be a smart woman like oh, you. Oh, that's my girl. Mm. <laughs> that's how to get my girl. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. Bye. Nice and chill. Okay. Hey, baby. Have you finished your homework? Oh. Can't do it. Okay. okay. Run along. Don't worry. Auntie will come to you later. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. <laughs> I needed to attend to something in the kitchen. So. Back to what we were saying. Won't Tony be angry? Sis, I will not compromise on the future of a company our parents left us. I know, but you should at least tell him. Let him be aware that you're considering bringing external auditors. There has to be boundaries. The company is no joke. So, a quarterly audit? Yes. I will send you a list of the accounting firms so you can decide on the right one. It's okay. It's fine. I trust your judgment. I mean, at the end of the day, just make sure our account is balanced. Yeah, definitely. And all the investors are happy. <laughs> Very important. So, what's new? Remind me to tell you something later. Okay. Imagine you're threatening me. Do you realize that you're threatening me on my money? Stella, let me speak. Let What's going 
What will you do? Eh? What are you going to do? You are insane! You hear me? You are insane! Who's that? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Who is that? What happened? This stupid girl is owing me some money. She said she wanted, she wanted to clear her containers only for me to find out that she went to Dubai with my money! These girls... What's happening in this world? Imagine that. What is it? Lady? Lady, what is it? You're telling me again. Oh gosh, this is your turn. Lady! Oh god, help me! Lady! Jesus! Oh! Like come with me. Come and call the driver. Call the driver. Call the driver. Call the driver. Calm down, lady. Calm down. Hey, John. Yeah. You asked me to get to your Miss Lady or her sister. Oh, the hair. Yes. Oh, please don't come. Okay. And uh, please. Uh, Get uh, Dr. Magical to be here as well. Okay, sir. Right, thank you. Good day, doctor. Oh, good day, ma'am. Please. Have you sit. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> doctor, please tell us what was the problem. What is it that you couldn't stay over the phone? Please calm down, madam. Please be patient, okay? Uh, I will need for my other colleague to be here, okay? But please, I'm sure she's on. I will just give us a few minutes, all right? Another doctor? Oh, okay. <laughs> here she comes. Good Welcome. afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you. Uh, doctor? That is Miss uh, uh, Alai Tan and her sister. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, that's Doctor Magical Dumi. Thank you, Doctor. Ah, well, she's here now, so I guess uh, we can proceed, right? Uh, she's my sister. She can stay. <sighs> well, it's okay if you insist, Ma. It's okay. Well, Miss Hoba. I have a good news and a not so good news. The not so good news is we found in your biopsy a rare form of cancer. Um, this cancer is called uterian sarcoma. If it spreads, the malignancy is usually incurable. What? Um, well, um, the good news is that we caught it at the earliest possible stage, mm -hmm. and at this stage, you can actually stop it. Uh, this form of cancer uh, has loads of uh, treatment. Uh, they are, we have what you call the uh, radiation therapy, we have the hormone therapy, and uh, the chemotherapy. Uh, but if all that fails, we can actually schedule her for surgery. Uh, we could do hysterectomy. We have what we call the uh, bilateral sapingo. Uh, we have ophorectomy as well. Uh, the, in all that well, uh, what the doctor is trying to tell you is that we will need to remove your uterus, hey. your cervix, your ovaries, and your fallopian tubes surgically. Oh my God! No, 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 If I don't do this, I'll die. I remove my womb and leave. What about the choices? I am There you are. I mean, look at you. 
looking all over for you. I've been checking everywhere for you. Come, let's go inside. Stop crying. Let's go. Come now. Okay, let's go in. What will I tell Tony? Who will marry me? Who will marry a woman without a home? What miracle can happen? I can't have children! Why am I a woman? Why did I just die when I was a baby? Stop like that. What, what is the essence of my life? God, why? Why, why did I do <laughs> no, you know, you're crying. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now? I'm ruined. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, how sure are you? Trust me, I know. <laughs> then I, I fear you. Fear that she has reported to police that they are looking for you. Mm -hmm. You still have my to How are you sure that she, she's not going to survive? See, guy, I have my interest to protect you. Huh? Mm -hmm. I have to protect my interest. See, guy, how do you expect me to pay her two million naira? After I don't colobi that money in, in, in a scam way. <laughs> ah. You know, oh. you colobi the two million. And tell her say you want to kind of clear something. You can't carry the two million. Go to Dubai with another man. Ah, I bow for you. Ah. See, see, see this one. Oh. Mm. See who is talking. What? 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 Yes, no. After 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 you collected so much money from her, you even deceived that you promised her marriage cards. I know everything. Oh. I knew about your other girl. Oh, no, no, the eye down. Ah. Take this medication seriously. 
Tony, talk to her. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let's try her down because I don't understand. My husband sent his regards. Hmm? You know he would have come to visit, but. Is that she's stable and responding to treatment. Hmm. Thank you, Doctor. But, Doctor, what caused this? W was it the surgery? Uh, Ma'am, we would have to do more tests to be able to determine that. For, for now, we can't tell. It's after the test that I can actually give you uh, detailed information. Doctor, Doctor, you see, she is the best thing that has happened to me in my life. Please just tell me she's going to be okay. <laughs> she's going to be fine. That I can assure you. All right. So, she'll be fine. As a matter of fact, I'm just coming back from the hospital, but I wasn't allowed to see her because I was told she was resting. So if you can get this juice to her for me, I would really appreciate it. I'll call the doctor later and ask if, I mean, we have to send her out of the country because I'm tired of seeing her this way. So would you please? Yeah, sure. Wait, let me get something from the kitchen and we'll go together. Okay. It's not looking nice at all. What's the issue? See, I'm not absolutely sure, but my gut feeling is telling me something is not right. Oh, really? 
Okay, let's hear it. What's your God saying? It's actually my patient, Miss uh, Lady Oba. Remember the lady we operated upon uh, three months ago? Oh, of course I do. She was rushed in here three days ago. She was being very delirious and having intermittent seizure. At first, I thought it was some kind of bacterial infection. So I administered antibiotics, which actually worked well. It stabilized her. And uh, she slept, but just yesterday, she started to have the same seizure again. <sighs> On close examination, I discovered that, uh, you know, she had this acute abdominal pain. She had this garlic smell under her breath and, uh, and her body fluid. Yes. Her urine is so dark that I'm beginning to... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <sighs> Doctor, I'm afraid so. Mm, I think you need to call the nurse. Hello, nurse. Hey, doctor. Please, I need you to take the blood and urine sample of Ms. Lady. Okay. Take it to the lab and let them carry on a toxicology screening right away. Okay, doctor. Thank you. I'm actually lost. I don't know. about my friend. Um, do you know what? I'm going to call you back, okay? of life and death, yes. I need to talk to you. I'm just parked somewhere close to your office at um, St. Smith Road. Yes, come meet me up. I'm waiting for you. Are you going to tell me why you dragged me out here in the middle of work? Look, let's just go straight to the point. Okay. You are Lydia's fiancé and I'm her only friend in this world. Yes, I am. And at the other side, we've been having flings with each other and I want that to stop. Really, I do. I want it to stop. And I know you have been embezzling lots of money from the company. And I also know you have another woman who is your true love. 
<laughs> wait, wait, what's this? Is this a blackmail? Or you are here to remind me that I've not been faithful to your friend? No, no, why did you bring me out here, Stella? You call it blackmail? Oh, yes! You know I'm owing Lade two million naira. Uh huh. And she have sent police after me. See, I want you to give me five million naira. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, don't tell me you don't have this money. Because I already know you bought a new house for yourself and a new car. And I just need a share from this money or else I will expose you. Are you okay? Where, where, where did you hear all these things? Are you on drugs? <laughs> no, I, are you sniffing something? <laughs> Am I on drugs? Am I sniffing something? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. See, just put your, yourself together. The thing, what I know is I'm going to expose you if you don't give me my own share of the money. <laughs> really? Yes, really. Really? Yes, really. See, I'm sure, I'm very sure you have gotten my message. I'm sure. And I have proof. I have some papers I'm going to send to you to tell you I know everything I'm saying. So you just have to play along, give me my own share of the money, or else you find yourself in jail. Hmm? Thank you. Doctor, it is what we feared. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh God. Oh, this is rather unfortunate. So what do we do now? We have a civil responsibility to report it. Yeah, I agree. I have someone that can help. Maybe I should just make a call to her. So, what, what exactly are you trying to say? What? That you don't trust me? You don't trust me? This is not about trust. What is it about? This is business. Oh, business. Do you know how I felt? I felt stupid. I felt like a fool in the presence of my fellow colleagues. I mean, come on. My wife-to-be? Eh? Hiding sensitive matters from me such as an external audit? Come on. Tony. What? I love you. Okay? You are my life. Well, there has to be some line that we cannot cross. At work, I am your boss. And it has to stay like that till forever. Really? Yes. Really? to ask you some questions concerning your sister here. Detective, what's going on? What's wrong with my sister? What's happening? This will only take some few seconds and we're back here. After you, madam. After you. Is 
just like you say. Mm. Lord sister. No. How, how can we your assist? Partner. Oh, sexual partners. I thought so. Your demeanor does not suggest that. You know, the way it is, um, is just like my husband's. Oh, no, this way. Just, just give him food. Make sure she's okay. Make sure she has enough water to drink. Wow. Who serves her juice? It was her boyfriend. He gave me the dress to give to her. He bought it. So. Well, I don't think that that's left for me for this officer here to return. Because uh, I don't want to extend that job. The little amount of poison in that drink. Yes, 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 yes. Are you Anthony? Yeah, who is asking? Detective Adewale. We would like to have a word with you at the station regarding the attempted murder of Olaide Oba. What? Yes. After you. I should come with you. Go on. Mister, what? See, save us the stress of going forward and backward. Help us to help you. Look, detective, I do not know what you want me to say. I have nothing to say. And we are engaged. Why will I want to kill her? Position, money. Oh, come on, please, detective, tell me this. Would I wait until we're married before I kill her? Ah. I want to make a phone call. I need to speak with my lawyer. I need to make my phone call. Calm down. Dr. Benny, who found the poison in your sister? 
They ran some tests and discovered that your juice had been poisoned. Right now, they reported the case to the police and told me I've been apprehended. I swear to God, even if it's the last thing that I do, he is going to face the full wrath of the law. Uh -uh. Just imagine that, that, that wretched bastard trying to poison my sister. Oh, don't worry, he will see. She beats me and he will see. But he will see. Don't worry, just focus on getting better. Okay? So, have you gotten his conclusion? No, he maintains he knows nothing about the poison drink. He keeps saying he did not poison her. And we cannot ignore what his girlfriend said. Um, Sergeant Flora was on undercover, and what she discovered was amazing. <laughs> Your job really suits you. Ah, ah. You look amazing. That's all. There is nothing like when you have peace of mind. Hey, hey, babe, I drove past Tony's office today. How is it? Okay, I wanted to stop by to say hi, but I was in a hurry. When are you guys getting married? Okay, okay, you don't want to answer me. Alright, fine, no problem. And uh, what's going on, especially with Tatis, my family? Are they in the heat to make Jesus come? Ah. Soon, soon. Hmm? Okay, oh. We just need a little more time to get things in order. Once we're done with everything, including his boss, we start planning for the wedding. Papa. Okay. Well, I have last time. Auntie. <laughs> Good afternoon. Girl like to pity on me. I saw her demo the other day in tears, begging. She practically knelt down in front of me asking for a job. So I employed her to help <laughs> with the chores. In this Lagos, <laughs> you need to be careful with girls like this. First, they act like they need help, but the moment you take your eyes off them, <laughs> they will disappear with all your valuables, if possible with your man. Abba. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. okay. No, she looks like a really cool headed girl now. Cool -headed. And besides, you know your girl. <laughs> I'm too smart for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm ready. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you today? I'm fine, how are you? Uh, Ma, please, I'm here to return the clothes I took the other time. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so how much do I owe you now? Mm, it's just 2,000. Okay, okay. So you know what? Please drop this in my room, eh? Okay. Then help me clean the guest room. I'm expecting someone. Okay, thank you. Nancy, <laughs> thank you for this job opportunity. Ah, thank God. <laughs>
But the poison found by Laura in Jade Sola's house matches the one the doctor said was used. But I still have my reservations. Reservations, you say? Yes, sir. This is an open and short case. We have our guy. W what else? You know, everyone loves a good mother mystery story. But this is obviously not one of those. And again, need I remind you that we neither have the resources or manpower to continue this investigation on some white goose chase. We have our man. He has the means and motive. Then what is left? Permit me, ma'am. The good guy that we are assuming this man is, I feel the perfect plan for him is for him to get married to this woman first before he activates the mother plan. No, 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 no. no. Not in all cases. This guy is this lady's father's accountant, remember? It, it, it's possible he just wants to kill, he, 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 he wants to kill her, clear the accountant and then disappear. Come on, detective. We have seen worse case than this. And if you're still having your doubts, keep working on it. But I need you to wrap up this case before the end of the week so we can take it for trial. But, but, no boss! Detective! Wrap up before the end of the week. Am I understood? Perfectly well, ma'am. Then out of my office. Out! Detective! Don't tell me what to do. So, I'm um, taking a plan D for the plan C is not working. We progress to the plan D. Yeah, the strategic way of getting, you know, uh, the plan D. We have to progress to the plan C. Because I think the plan D will work. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think I know that maybe that is. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. It's the other sister of the lady that was poisoned. Maybe you saw her at the station when she came to write her statement. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, I remember. We were on the patrol. When we saw a dying man, like a dying man, along the roadside. <laughs> no? Would we rush him to the hospital? But this man was badly injured, I mean badly injured. We needed to see him. So we just decided to go tell the news to the family. We talked about this for weeks. We kept talking about it. But that was the first time we ever saw anything like that. Anything. I'm not sure it's the same woman I just sent her. I'm sure. What is that? We just assumed that it was a loveless marriage. She's the one. Yes, she's the one. Tony, we can only help you if you cooperate with us. I, I don't even know what to say to you. Besides the fact that I did not poison her. I loved her. Oh, <laughs> you loved her. Which means you don't love her anymore, right? Oh, come on, detective, please. You know what I mean. Don't put words into my mouth. Lydia and I, we've been dating since we were kids. Lydia was my first love. My very first love. I worship, practically worship the ground she walked on. I mean, why would I do such a thing? Not, not until... Five years ago, she disappeared. And then reappeared a year later with no explanation. But because I missed her so much, I just, I just took her back and felt... I felt time was going to heal everything. Not until one night, I, I woke up to pee. I saw her in the bathroom. And what I saw really shocked me. Okay. Talk to me, what did you see? She looked like a woman who was lactating, someone who just gave birth. I 
mean a breast, the stomach was sagging. I mean, can you imagine what was going on through my mind? She had a child for another man. I mean, someone I was planning to spend the rest of my life with. I mean, it broke me down completely. I asked her, what happened? She said she wasn't unfaithful. Okay, you were not unfaithful. How did the child come about? She said she was done talking about it. Well, what else was I supposed to ask? There was nothing else to ask because she was done giving me answers. Well, ever since then, your guess is as good as mine. I, I stopped trusting her. Did she mention anything about the father or the child? Look, detective, I'm done answering your questions. If you have any questions to ask, maybe you should ask her sister because Lydon will not even go to the toilet without her sister's permission. Really? Yes, really. Sorry for showing up like this. Um, actually, I need to talk to you on some recent developments. What recent developments? I thought you had your culprit. Yeah. Is there anything else to investigate? Um, I apologize, madam. See, in order to secure a conviction, we have to ensure that the case is here tight. That's why we're doing all this. Okay, so how may I be of help? Was there any time in the last five years your sister traveled and was away for a while? Oh, my, I, I put something on the fire. I need to go. How's it going? ago when she traveled are you aware that she got pregnant that she had a child that did not happen my sister never had a baby who told you that she never had a baby never Went to the same university. 
and um, we were quite close back then in school. Yeah. What a small world. I'm, I'm just coming from her side now. I just left her and her daughter. What? Her daughter? Yeah. How? How? I, I don't understand. You know, truly, there is nothing impossible for God to do. I don't know, I don't know. But then, Mosumola was a very wild girl while she was in the university. I mean, she was a very, very bad girl. Before she was 20, she had a series of abortion. And there is this particular abortion she had back then that almost took her life. I don't know. I still don't understand her. Um, you know, she kept on bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Her friends had to convince her and took her to the hospital. But on getting to the hospital, things got really bad. And the sad part is, they had to remove her womb. <sighs> this is serious. So. Ma, Ma, are you sure we are talking about the same person there? My eyes can't be deceiving me. This is more Somola that I know. <sighs> Talking about having kids, wow. Miracles do happen, you know. Right? Yes, um, you, you can just go back to the office. And leave uh, this here. You can leave. Yes, ma'am. Good day, madam. Good day, sir. I um, hope you feel much better now. Yes, yes, I feel better, thanks. Alright, I'm Detective Adewale. I'm investigating a mother attempt on your life. Oh, that. My sister already told me about it. Tony tried to kill me. Tell me more about that. But wait, before you do that, your sister, Mrs. Musumala Kedju, right? Yes. I saw her rushing out of the hospital now. Hope everything is okay. No, not at all. She just felt insulted that the nurse didn't let her give me the food that she brought. She had to leave anyway, but she's traveling out of town. Out of town? Okay. Alright, thank you. And I I'll write back.
for the attempted murder of Miss Lydioba. Anything you say or do right now will be used against you in the court of law. Hey, stop it! Stop I, I can explain. Stop there. I can explain. Ah! Ah! Move. help us to make this go away if you cooperate with us your sister is already getting better and any woman from now she'll be on her feet who knows she might even dismiss the case and that is it however you have to let me know why you did what you did or else I will personally ensure that you rot in jail When I was 19, I had a DNC. It didn't go well. The doctor removed my womb. Devastated. I was tired of life. I couldn't tell anyone. Not even my sister. I met my husband seven years after. Of course, I didn't tell him I couldn't have kids. Three years after our marriage, my in-laws started to mount pressure. I was desperate. I needed to save my home. So I I visited a specialist. At the time, fertility centers were springing up and I decided to see an expert, so. He advised, I get a surrogate. To make matters worse, I needed someone to donate eggs because mine were chromosomally deficient. With someone's eggs, I could increase my chances of the procedure being successful. to turn to the only person in this world that I could trust. My sister. I have to tell you this. 
Well, you are not God that gives children. Eh? And the one who does knows why you're not pregnant yet. You just have to be patient. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Please let me kneel. No, let me kneel. Let me no. kneel. Please, please. You let me kneel because you're the only one that can help me. And I don't know what will happen if you say no. <laughs> Since our parents died and our elder brother died in the accident, <laughs> you're the only family that I have since it's just been you and me. <sighs> you're the only family aside my husband. But even my husband, look at him now. He's been acting funny. My husband has been acting funny. Well, how can you blame him? Nobody wants to be with a barren woman. No, no, no. Eh? Don't, don't say that. Don't ah. say that. You're not barren. You're not. Look, <laughs> delay is not denial, okay? Delay is not denial. God's time is the best. And when he decides to bless you, no one can stop it. No one. So you're not barren. You're not. Lady. I'm barren. I'm barren. The doctors confirmed it. I'm barren, lady. I'm so sorry I couldn't tell you. It happened a long time ago. But there's still hope. There's still hope, lady, and you're the only one that can help me. Me? If you want help me. Okay, okay. Name it. Okay. How can I help? How can I help? I need an egg donor. Do you know who his surrogate is? I do this. I do. If I understand you correctly, you you want me to, to donate egg for vitro fertilization and then carry the baby to term. Yes, lady. Please. That is what the doctors advised. Tony. Tony. What am I going to tell him? He, he won't understand. He, he won't, Tony won't understand. Sis, please, this has to be just between you and me. Nobody must hear about this. Nobody, not even Tony, can hear about this. Sis, please. No, sis. You're the only one that can take away this shame from me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm the only one that can take away this insult from my in law, sis. Look at me. I don't have children. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. Okay? I'll do it. You do it. I'll do it. I'll do anything to make my sister happy. But, but. I will have to speak with the specialist, okay? I have to have a sit down with them. Because I have questions. That is not a problem, sis. That is not a problem at all. You're the best. I love you so much. Oh, my darling sister. God will bless you. God will bless you. You will never lack anything in your life. And by the grace of God, when this procedure is successful, I will take you out of the country. I'll take you to the UK and then I have to stay behind so that people can see my protruding belly. After which I'll come and meet you and take care of you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. But don't forget sister. Nobody is know about this. Nobody, not even Tony. I, I promise you, okay? I promise you.
precede you was a success and light it took in. My husband and I were ecstatic. We sent her to the UK while I, I stayed back to pretend that I was pregnant. She was the cutest baby in the whole world. And she was mine. Okay. Everything went back to normal. And for the first time, I was happy. My husband came back home. I made peace with my family. My in-laws loved me. Life was perfect. down like a pack of cards. Lady's surgery. It suddenly dawned on me that the stakes had changed. Sisterly love and all, it's all amazing, but I knew there was no way in the world, no freaking way she wouldn't want her own child. And so I got scared. She would want her child back. My child! My baby! She was my idea. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have any child. So, no. There was no way. I 
I would let her take my baby. I took my child to visit her one day at the clinic. my sister and she loves me and I love her too oh. <laughs> I had to protect my happiness I had to protect my family I had to protect my family in her again. I thought because Tony was in detention that no one would look to think that she was still being poisoned. Ha <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 